What comes after One UI 8.0? Well, now we know. It's One UI 8.5. Yes, that's what Samsung is working on next. And no, this isn't a guess. It was quietly revealed through a hidden menu inside the phone app on Galaxy devices. If you didn't, no, most Samsung apps include hidden menus made for testing and debugging. These menus aren't for regular users, but they sometimes give away future plans. That's exactly what happened with One UI 8.5. Someone found a section in the phone app showing that One UI 8.5 exists, even though it hasn't been announced. Yet. Let's back up for a second. One UI 8.0, based on Android 16, is already being tested on some Samsung phones. It's still in development and a public beta is expected to roll out soon for the Galaxy S25 series. So while One UI 8 is still fresh, it looks like Samsung is already preparing the next version behind the scenes. This also matches previous rumors. People have been saying for months that One UI 8.5 would follow 8.0, and now we have solid proof. What's interesting is how Samsung is changing the way it names these updates. Remember how we used to get updates like 7.1 and 7.1.1? Well, it seems like Samsung is moving away from those smaller updates. Now, it's looking more like major steps, 8.0 to 8.5, then maybe 9.0 after that. This could be because of how delayed One UI 7 was last year. Maybe Samsung just wants to keep things more structured moving forward. So, when will we see One UI 8.5? Based on what we know, Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Galaxy Z Flip 7 will launch with One UI 8.0. That means One UI 8.5 probably won't show up until early next year, likely with the Galaxy S26 series. Samsung usually shows off new One UI versions with new flagship phones, so this timeline makes sense. Now the real question is, will One UI 8.5 be better than One UI 8.0? So far, One UI 8 hasn't felt like a big upgrade. Sure, it brings Android 16 features, but there's nothing that really changes. The way your phone works, it feels more like a tune-up than a full refresh. That's why people are hoping One UI 8.5 will bring more exciting features, maybe visual changes, better animations, or deeper AI tools. Another important point, if your device is eligible, for One UI 8, it's very likely that you'll also get One UI 8.5. Samsung has been consistent in updating its supported phones with both the base version and the 5 version that follows. So here's what to expect. One UI 8.5 is real and already appearing in Samsung's own testing menus. It will likely launch with the Galaxy S26 series devices. Getting One UI 8 will also get 8.5, and Samsung may stop doing smaller X1.1 or X1.1 updates if you want to try One UI. 8 early, keep an eye out. Samsung should launch a beta program later this month. It will most likely start with the Galaxy S25 lineup. Is Samsung finally fixing one of its biggest weaknesses? Battery life? Well, sort of. There's a new report from South Korea saying Samsung is working on a new battery upgrade for its Galaxy phones. It's not the next-gen tech fans have been hoping for, but it could still bring noticeable improvements. So what's the deal? Samsung is reportedly switching to a battery component called SUS CAN. It's made from stainless steel and was developed by Samsung SDI, the company's own battery division. This isn't the silicon carbon battery tech that's been making headlines lately, but it still has some real benefits. For starters, SUS CAN batteries are supposed to have better energy density, which means more power can be packed into the same space. They also offer faster charging speeds and help reduce battery swelling over time, a problem many users face after months or years of use. To put it simply, you'll be able to charge your phone faster, and your battery will stay healthier longer. That's already a win. Now here's the catch. Apple is already using this battery tech. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has SUS CAN technology inside, so Samsung is actually a bit late to the party this time. And that's probably why some fans feel underwhelmed by this update. What everyone really wanted to see was Samsung jumping to silicon carbon batteries. This newer tech is already powering phones like the OnePlus 13T, which has a huge 6200 mAh battery packed into a slim design. That's something Samsung's current phones just can't match. Same with Oppo's Find N5, a super thin foldable phone that still manages to pack in a large battery thanks to silicon carbon tech. Meanwhile, Samsung's most recent phones, like the Galaxy S25 Edge, are still using traditional lithium-ion batteries. 
That means smaller capacities and not much improvement from one generation to the next. So, why didn't Samsung go straight to silicon carbon? It looks like they're playing it safe and going for an incremental step forward instead of a big leap. Seuss Can is more stable and probably easier to roll out across their upcoming phones. It may not be exciting, but it's still progress. Now, when will we see these SUS Can batteries in action? That part's still unclear. Samsung hasn't given any official dates yet, but sources say development is moving along. If things go smoothly, we might see this tech arrive with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 or the Galaxy S26 series, and honestly, any battery upgrade is good news, especially for users who are tired of running out of charge halfway through the day or waiting around forever for their phone to recharge. Foldables in particular need better batteries, since they power larger displays and more advanced features. Of course, this still leaves some fans disappointed. After all, Samsung used to be one of the leaders in smartphone battery innovation. If you're using a Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet, especially a newer one, there's some important news you'll want to know. Samsung is getting ready to release its next big software update, One UI 8, which will be based on Android 16. And this time, the focus is heavily on security and privacy. The features coming with this update could seriously change the way you protect your phone and personal data. Google has already shared some of the key security features that Android 16 will bring, and Samsung is adding its own enhancements on top of that. These new tools are designed to stop scams, prevent fraud, and protect your phone even if it gets lost or stolen. If you've ever worried about your phone falling into the wrong hands, this update might ease some of that stress. One. Of the major highlights is something called the Advanced Protection Program. It's a new security mode that, once turned on, activates several powerful features to keep your phone safe. The best part? Only you can make changes to it. It requires proper identity verification, which means a scammer or thief can't just walk away with your phone and disable your settings. In the beginning, these protections will work mostly with Google Apps, but support for third-party apps will come soon after. That means the apps you use daily, like banking, messaging, and social media, will also get an extra layer of safety. There's also a big improvement when it comes to device logs. Normally, system logs can be changed or even deleted. But with Android 16, secure logs will remain untouched. This way, if someone tries to access your phone or change settings, you'll have a clear record that can't be altered. It's like having a built-in history tracker for suspicious activity phone call safety is also getting a boost. Android 16 will block some risky actions during calls, like installing apps from the internet or giving sensitive permissions. This is especially useful because scammers often try to trick people into downloading harmful apps while they're on a call. Now that trick won't work as easily, and if you've ever used screen sharing during a call, there's a new rule that will protect your banking apps. While screen sharing is on, banking apps from supported banks like Monzo, NatWest, and Revolut in the United Kingdom, won't open. This move is aimed at stopping scams where people pretending to be tech support try to access your financial information during screen sharing. AI is also playing a bigger role. Android 16 will use it to detect apps that try to hide or change their identity. It will also help filter out scam messages more accurately, and it can watch for suspicious behavior on your device all quietly running in the background without needing any action from you. Another major improvement is in theft protection. 